So I haven't done bulk turning for a while, and on a recent excursion out into the wild, I found a dish log. So we're going to turn it into a bulb and see what happens. So I think this is a bit of plain based on its bark, but I could be wrong. Um, please feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, the lathe we've got can only handle six inches, so we're going to draw a line and cut it in half first, and then we'll make it round enough for the lathe. We're going to use this bit uh, because this bit has some knots in the bottom of it. I don't know how deep they go. So we're going to cut this off here-ish so that we can get our bowl blank out of that bit. So if this is going to be the top of our bowl and it's good, I think I'm going to try and do a yarn bowl. So I need the top to be slightly in like this. Hopefully that's six inches. How big is that? Five and a half. So So that's kind of what we're aiming for, with a bit of in at the top and then some form of pedestal at the bottom. It might be quite a big pedestal because it, if it's a yarn bow you're wanting to pull on it so we might go straight sided. But that gives us a rough idea of how how much material we cut off with the bandsaw. Um, there's a bit of sapwood like round here. So we're going to cut as much of that off as we can. So the, the lathe can cope with eight inches total, but it's very, very tight. So uh, seven inches is an ideal starting diameter with the points on, and then it works down to six as a final bowl. So what we're gonna do is, I made my, this four inches, and we're just gonna make sure that we can fit it on, so yeah, there it doesn't fit. So I'm gonna go that way a little bit, make it fit on there. That fits on there, and there, and there. I kind of want to miss that little knot out, so we're just going to come this way a little bit. And then that way, we have... I need a brush. I'll brush it on the floor. Fingers. And then this will provide us with the circle, the starting circle for the bowl. And so what this means is we can cut out, cut these corners off, cut this big job off here, and then that gives us a lot closer starting point with the bowl, which means that lathing will be quicker and easier. Also, it's really important when you do this is the compass point leaves a little divot, but it's worth making this a little bit bigger so that you know where it is later. To make this divot bigger, I have this little tool. So make a point there and point it in. And then later on when you come to fix a faceplate to this, this sits in the centre of the faceplate and allows you to put the faceplate dead centre. Right, so I may have forgot to hit record, but I've been around and I've cut this all down so that now we're ready to put this on a lathe. So if you remember from earlier, it might not be terribly clear. Move this away. Uh, it's still not terribly clear. There's a, there's a divot here that I made. And that's for this to sit in. 
and then the face plate over and make sure that the point goes into the hole which is there push that down and then that is that is the center of the circle that we carved so we're then going to screw this in Ready to go on the lathe. Get this on the lathe. My old Myford 7. New Myford 7 lathe. Base plate. Go over here. And then, hopefully, come on, there we go. And then it's super close. That goes on there. Get the lock out and then that clears. What I'm looking for when I put the lathe on. What I'm looking for when this is locked on here, nice and raw, is this gap. And that it misses. And it just brushes on a couple of these. Not in a, just like the fluffy bits left over from the cut. So ideal. Okay, so I'm gonna be wearing this for the next wee while. And this is going to be featured in a later video. So remember to subscribe if you want to see that. Uh, we're going to put a welding mask on it. Uh, but for now, uh, I won't be able to talk to you for a little bit. So I'm going to put some music on while I do some turning. And I will hopefully chat to you in a little bit when I come to turn the blank around. But yeah, we're going to put in the basic shape now. And we will... Uh, see you in a little bit.
thing we need in this yarn bowl is a hole for the yarn. So if you like this sort of thing and you want to see me make and repair more random things then please remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.